everyone, it's Jen from Creative Housewives and today I'm going to teach you how to create a tag or a sign, anything where you want to draw and then cut with your Cricut machine. All right, as you can see, I'm here in Design Space. I am using a computer and I have selected that I am using a Cricut Joy machine. This process is the same whether you're using a Joy, an Air, any of the Explore machines, Maker, it's going to be a similar process the same process no matter what so i have selected that though because that is the machine that i'm going to be using so let's jump in here i'm going to create a tag like i said before this can be used for anything if you're creating labels anything like that the process is going to be the same for drawing and then cutting so i'm going to create a circle label so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put a circle here on my canvas i'm going to change it to a three inch circle because i think a three inch circle is plenty big enough now to make it an actual tag, I'm going to insert another circle. I'm going to change that circle to a quarter inch, so just 0.25. And now I can take that, I can just move it here. I want a little bit of room from the top to where I'm having this other circle cut out so that it doesn't tear through easily. I'm gonna select both layers. In the top panel here, I'm going to select a line, then I'm gonna tell it to center horizontally. That's just gonna make sure that that little, where I'm running my ribbon through, my little hole there is going to be right in the middle of my tag on the top. So now I still have both of my um, circles selected down here at the bottom of my layers panel. So on the right hand side at the bottom, I'm going to select slice. And then you can see that changes my layers panel here. I have three different slice results. These smaller ones, are just those inside pieces. I don't need those anymore. I don't want to have them on my canvas so that they're distracting or anything. So now you can see I just have a circle with a little hole in it. We'll make a great tag. Now I'm going to select it. I am going to turn this white just because I think that'll be easier for us all to see. So now we've got everything set out for the cutting portion of our project. I have the outside will be cut, that inside little circle will be cut. So now let's add some text. I'm going to come down here to text and I am going to, the first thing I'm going to do is type two. And then you can see that this font that it has selected is the Cricut Sans font. It is a cut line type right now and the style is regular. All this information is in your top toolbar if you're using a computer. I will do another video to show you how this will look using a, an iPhone and then we'll see what we can do about getting an Android version set up also. So if I take this particular font and come up here to my line type and change it to draw, this is where you're going to change any time that you wanna do writing, you'll be changing your line type. If I wanna do draw, it changes it. So we've got this cute little word written. If you like this look, that's great. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create this project without having it outlined. What happens is if you are using a um, regular cutting font, what it's going to do is it's going to follow, your pen is going to follow where, where the blade would cut if you had a blade in. So that's why you get this outlined look instead of just a nice thin line. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here to my fonts, over here on filter, so it's on the right hand side, I'm going to select writing. So now what's going to happen is it's only going to show me fonts that have a writing style. They may have other styles, like the Sunday Swirls has a single layer cutting and a writing. Some will have multiple different types. There's a cute font that I wanted to show you. Let's see if I can search for it really quick. I think it's called Thursday something. Yes, okay, Thursday type. I think this is a really cute font and I really like the look of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this, but you can see that it has a single layer, single layer cutting and a writing. So we'll go ahead and select that. What happened when I selected that was my line type changed back to a cut and my style is still regular. So I'm gonna come back up here to line type. I'm going to change that to draw again. And you can see that what's happening, even though it has a writing style, it is still showing me the regular style, which is the cutting style. So now what I need to do after I change my line type to draw, I'm gonna come down here to style and I'm gonna change this to writing. So now I do have, because of the font that this one is, you still get that little bit of a bubble. That's just cause that's the font. I think it's super cute, but we have these nice thin lines. 
on parts of it. So that will be where it will just, it will just draw those. So you, there are other fonts, like we could come in here and we could look at, um, let's look at a different font. I think this Adelaide is a different one. So you can see this, the whole thing is just this nice thin. So it's just writing. It's not doing any, um, crazy, um, bubbles and that it, so that's how you can tell where you're um, getting that difference. It's not going to outline the entire thing. I really like this font, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this Thursday type. I'm gonna minimize it a little bit, and then I'm gonna slide it over here onto my tag. This will make it so it's easier for me to see about how big I can get away with it being. So that's what it looks like right now. Now to jump through all of those other steps that I just had to do, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this. And then I can just change my to to from. And then I can kick this down here. Then I can select both of my fonts or my text boxes here. And then I can select a line and align those left. Now this is, I mean, I could just do to hit enter and then from in the same text box, but I like being able to have that little bit of a gap there and be able to manipulate and move those around how I want. That's why I did that that way. So now from here, I'm going to, just so that you can see the difference, I'm gonna change, so my line type up here says draw, and you can see this black box. That is the color of pen that you're telling the machine that you want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and change it to red. You can go through and pick all of your different types of pens because I'm selecting Joy. There's just a few different ones. There's not as many colors. Um, and I just accidentally selected an infusible ink pen, which is not what I'm going to be using. Now, changing your pen color is not a necessity because the machine cannot tell what color pen you're putting in when it's checking to make sure that there's a pen in there. You just, um, this is just great if you're doing any type of project that has multiple different colors so that when you're on your cut screen, and it's going through, it's prompting you to put in the color that you wanted to put in. Also, I like just having an idea of what it's going to look like on here. So I've got my two, I've got my from. This is just a very simple card or tag to show you how to do it. So now I wanna show you, if I do nothing else, I wanna show you what happens if I select make it. So I'm gonna select make it, and because I'm using a Joy machine, it's asking me what mat I'm going to be using, but do you see what's wrong here? I have my tag being cut, but then my words are being written off to the side, which is not the look that I was going for. There is a way, if I was only cutting out one tag, there is a way to fix this here on your um, cutting screen, your first screen here. You can select your words and you can move them over. This is a great little tip if you didn't know that, that you can do this from the map screen here. So I could do that, but since most of us, if we're making tags, we wanna make quite a few of them, or you wanna be able to save it in the future so that it's set up the way you want it. From here, what I wanna do is I wanna select all of my layers. So you can see I have all three layers here selected. Then I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna select attach. And then what happens is you can see that they're all now under this attach thing, which means that when I click on it, it's selecting all of them and everything's going to move together where before, when things weren't attached, if I hadn't moved that, that would have been quicker. When things weren't attached, if I clicked on this and moved it, then it's just going to move them one at a time. So now let's go back again, get those all back together. So I'm gonna select all of these. I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna select attach. So now we have this all as just one image here, one thing happening. So now when I select make it, and I select that I'm using a mat, you can see that everything is set up here on the map that we, the way we want it to be. So I can go ahead and I could up this to two, I could say apply and it will cut two out. Obviously the joy mats are much smaller than um, the other Cricut machines. So if you're using a different Cricut machine, you could cut out a bunch of these all at once. Um, another thing to note here on your mat screen, next to your image, you can see it says draw and cut. This is a great place to check if you're doing a project that has multiple steps to make sure that it has all of the steps here. And then it is also telling you in which order they're going to happen. It's going to draw in the machine first and then it is going to cut it out. So then from our next screen, when we're actually getting ready to proceed, it will um, have me put my pen in, 
And then after it's done drying, it will tell you to take out the pen and put your um, blade in. If you're using a joy machine, if you are using anything that has like the two different cartridge or not cartridges, but um, housings where you can have your pen and your blade in at the same time, it'll just tell you to put both of those in and then it can go through that process. So super simple, really quick, a fun tip to know for creating things, especially around the holidays or if you're doing birthday gifts and stuff. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. Have a wonderful day.